good afternoon. I'm Julie Youngquist with Streetwise. This is Ali Spillman, also with Streetwise, a special guest today. And you are streaming live with Streetwise on Can TV Channel 21. Today we'll uh, be talking with Ali about another program at Streetwise that we haven't focused very much on called the STEP program. And then we'll also have familiar face um, A. Allen interviewing a special guest about this week's issue. And then we have another guest vendor um, in the studio with us today, Lee A. Holmes. But as we do every week, we're going to start off with giving you an overview of Streetwise. And so we're going to show this quick video to familiarize you with us. When you see me in the street, what do you see? Do you see someone who rises before the sun every morning to catch the L at 95th and the Dan Ryan headed towards the Ogilvy station to get the train to Glencoe just in time for the morning rush? Do you see the long day ahead of me, my struggles, what I go through, standing in the rain, under the sun, against the wind or covered with snow? Many hours filled with rejections. Do you see my hand stretched out with a magazine, which I bought for 90 cents and sold to you for two dollars? When you see me on the street, what do you see? Do you see my smile that greets you? Hoping to demonstrate what I've learned about selling from mentors who believe in my potential. Do you see my confidence strengthen from having access to food, shelter, and clothing, restoring my dignity and self-respect? Do you see my dream for a new journey? An opportunity for transitioning to a career where I can learn new skills and grow. Can you imagine what would happen if you took a chance and hired me? I know you will feel my gratitude. And I know you feel my hope that more people will get the same care and respect that I found at Streetwise, that showed me the way to this place and this moment, so you can see me and know me and believe in what I can become. All right, a little overview of Streetwise and all the programs that we have. Again, um, I am Julie Youngquist with Streetwise, and we're joined here today by Allie, who is the employment specialist in our Streetwise Transitional Jobs Program. So in the video just now, there was some um, language about how we've helped more than 250 people gain jobs, and we have the STEP program. So Allie's over the program. Allie, welcome. Thanks. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the STEP program at Streetwise? Sure. Well, the STEP program, first of all, STEP is an acronym mm -hmm. for the Good Streetwise point. Transitional Employment Program. And how the STEP program works is individuals come to meet with me one-on-one, -on -one, and in those meetings, that person and I work on securing employment for them. Okay. So we work wherever that person is in the process. That's where we start. For some people, that means we start with a resume. Mm -hmm. For others, they already have a resume, and that means that we jump straight into applications. Some people just need practice with interviews or some technical writing skills with a cover letter. Wherever they are in the process, they come to meet with me, and we together work on finding them a job that they love. Oh, it sounds like that's a little bit more unique than some of the other jobs programs that we work with. It sounds very individualized and very client-driven. Correct. Yes. Excellent. There's a lot of choice involved in this program. <laughs> Do you find that that is, um, helps the success of the job applicants? Yeah. I can't think of anyone who just wants a, 
a job in any field. Like, even if you're open-minded, you have an idea of what your dream job would be, or you have an idea of what you're best at, and that's where you should be in your career. Just like you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so who is eligible to join the STEP program? Well, the program is open to all City of Chicago residents who okay. are 18 years or older and eligible to work in the U.S. and anybody who wants to work. <laughs> what does that, you, um, like eligible to work in the U.S., so if you're not eligible that would be a bit of a restriction, like what makes you eligible to work? Right, so someone who's eligible to work in the U.S. is uh, anyone who was born in the U.S. So if you have a birth certificate, that right there is your ticket into the program. Okay. Um, but the program is also offered to people who were not born into the U.S. as long as there's some other documentation that they have. So if you're eligible to work, then you typically have a social security card, a state ID, and a birth certificate. And then for some situations, we require income verification. Okay. So I know one of the things we wanted to go over was some of the services provided, but that's a great segue is like, what if I, what if you walk in the door and you don't have any of those things? Then that is just fine too. That just means that before we can jump into the application process and really dig deep into finding the right job, we have to get you prepared or someone else prepared for getting ready to start that job, sure. which means like you can't start working without those documents. Mm -hmm. So. Anyone at Streetwise, which is sometimes me, sometimes an intern, can help a participant gain a state ID or a birth certificate or get directions for obtaining any other document they need. That's fantastic. So then, if you have all those documents and you're ready to get started, what are some of the other services that the step, persis step participants receive? Well, I always start with a resume for people. So if they already have a resume, then that means that we just look over it together and look for typos, look for opportunities with formatting, look for anything that was omitted that might fill in some gaps in employment. But if the resume looks great, then we jump right into applications. I learn what kind of jobs a person is looking for, what kind of experience they bring to the table, I always start with, what's your dream job? Sure. Yeah, that gives me a really good idea of where we're going, if you can tell me what your dream is. so. Excellent. Yeah. So then, what kinds of jobs have people been able to get into? What sort of sectors? Is there a kind of like a niche that we have, even though it's very mm -hmm. individualized? Sure. Um, a lot of people that I work <laughs> with are looking for opportunities where they can be active in work. That's okay. not to say that's what everyone wants, but I get a lot of participants who come to me and want jobs in security as security officers or um, in a kitchen where they're constantly moving okay. as dishwashers, as custodians, as uh, I've had a few people who've been interested in driving careers. And then I also have a few people who are interested in administrative jobs okay. like customer service, answering phones. So Excellent. it really depends on the person. So once you help someone or empower someone to get into the path towards the career that may be their dream, is there any ongoing support or initial support or ongoing support that, that we're able to provide participants? Sure. Um, well, once someone gets into the job that they want or the job that they think they might want, which sometimes isn't always the same thing, um, <laughs> A lot of people don't realize that we have retention services too. So once you start a job, if it ten or if it ends up being the job that you didn't think it was, mm -hmm. then you can always come back or contact me, and we can try to find a different job together that might be more aligned with what your interests are. Um, for people who are right about the career that they want to get into, and it's just um, they have trouble actually maintaining the job mm -hmm. at first, just with the initial like startup of things. Sure. We offer help with uniforms, with food, we've been able to help out with transportation before, but it really varies um, by case. So okay. we just handle that as it comes through. Wow. Well, that's great. Is there anything else that, that anyone should know about the STEP program? I mean, sounds like anyone can come in, anyone has a shot, it's pretty individualized. 
That's right, really. If you have any questions, then you can always contact us. Yep, you're, I'm going to put up our website. You can um, always go to um, our website, www.streetwise.org. Um, you can also call Allie at 773-334-6600. And Allie says you can also walk in Monday through Friday anytime after 930. So um, give our STEP program a shot. You, again, are watching Streetwise Live on Can TV 21. We are now joined in the studio by Lee A. Holmes, a Streetwise vendor, and a Streetwise vendor who did take a shot on the STEP program. Yes. Um, so, Lee, tell us about your experience with the STEP program. Yeah, first of all, the STEP program is a very great program. And um, I was one of the first in the building to um, join the program, and it helped me tremendously. It helped me with my people skills, my customer service skills. And did it help you as a, you know, use your magazine vendor selling skills to gaining new skills in this program? Did it help you get a job? Yes, it did, Julie. It helped me out. Um, right now I'm working at Walgreens. I work at um, 1001 Belmont. Okay. Walgreens right there. Um, it helped me greatly with my sales. And it's helping me now. Oh, the, the STEP program helped you with your magazine sales, and your magazine sales helped you with the skills you need for Walgreens? Yes, ma'am. Sounds like a great, uh, great opportunity. So what did you learn in the STEP program that you're able to use now in your job at Walgreens? Time management. Can you I talk a little bit about that? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm a cashier, and I also do the stock. I, re um, I restock the shelves. You know, I do facing, which is um, basically you pull that thing up and make sure that the label's showing, mm -hmm. you know. And my time management skills has, plays a very role, important role, because I, don't win, I have to know when to cut off one thing to do something else. Mm -hmm. Everything's on the time limit and on the time frame. And, you know, I might get a call to come in and store a bag double with customers. I have to go to the cash register. So I have to stop doing what I'm doing, do that, and then go back to doing what I'm doing and keep on going. Sure. So do you think, I know one of the things that the program talks about too, which the magazine vendor program talks about, is consistency. Do you think that that's still something that's important in the STEP program and in your current job as it is in the vendor program? Yes, it is. It's very <coughs> important. Consistency is the key. It's one of the keys. Excellent. Is there anything else that people should know about the STEP program, like how easy it is to participate or how accessible it is? Just you know, give a plug for the STEP program. Well, the STEP program, like I said, is great, and it's very easy to join. You know, matter of fact, after I went through the STEP program, I got a nephew who was just sitting around, and I told him about the STEP program. He went through the STEP program, and now he works out at O'Hare. So it, it, it's very great. You know, um, it helps you with your custom service skills. It helps you with your time management skills. And Ali, I have to give a shout-out to her because she actually tweaked my resume, and when I put it up to Walgreens, I did get a response right away. It just took a while for me to get in there, but I did get that response, and it's, it's very great. I mean, that's really what it's all about. Well, we're so proud of you. We're glad you're still part of the vendor force, and also that you have this job at Walgreens, and that you can be a great ambassador to get other people involved in the program. So again, you. if you would like more information about the STEP program, um, you can visit the website. We are now going to have uh, A. Allen, a familiar face here on Can TV 21 with Streetwise Live, um, go ahead and take the reins as we talk about this week's edition of the magazine. Thank you very much. My name is A. Allen, and I would like to welcome Maddie to our program. Maddie is a Streetwise intern. And Maddie, <clears throat> could you tell us a little bit about yourself and what brought you to Streetwise, please? Absolutely. Well, I'm originally from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. I went to school at Watchtaw Baptist University in Arkadelphia, Arkansas. It's about an hour out of Little Rock, if you don't know where that is. And I am in my last semester of study, so I decided to uh, take a bit of an adventure and go to Chicago with a program called Chicago Semester. What they do is they take uh, students and they place them in internships around the city so that we can get real life experience. Oh, thank you, Maddie. Maddie, can you tell us a little bit about the, the la latest project that you are 
was assigned to by Streetwise? Absolutely. So this was my first cover story that I was able to do. Uh, we covered the 90th Oscars, which are going to be this Sunday. And uh, what, we, what we basically did is we screened movies with the vendors, and I interviewed them afterwards and got their opinions and their takes on the movies. And then I wrote those up, and we put them in the magazine, and they're available for anyone to go and get this week. And you can read all about what the vendors had to say. Can you, uh, can you tell us what movies was chosen? to watch. Absolutely. So we chose a lot of movies that were considered uh, or that were uh, put as best picture. Or they're nominated for best picture. We also chose other movies that may not have been nominated for best picture but they were things that we thought the vendors might be interested in like Logan and I, Tanya. Uh, but uh, best picture movie nominees that we chose this week were Shape of Water, uh, Lady Bird, Darkest Hour, Dunkirk, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and Get Out. Okay, which, which movies created the most conversation? Well, the movies that typically got talked about the most, uh, one was not surprising at all, it was Get Out, which you were actually there for that one. Yes. And it was a very interesting movie because you knew that there was something wrong from the beginning, but you, it took a while to get into the movie to realize that that thing that you thought was wrong was not, it's a different thing that's wrong. So it's, we won't give that away. We, it's, you definitely just have to see the movie to get the whole experience of it. But it was a very good movie. It had a lot of people talking. Yes, and then I even wrote about uh, Get Out. But um, I like to say the, the setup for uh, the movies was very, it was very pleasant. We had comfortable chairs. We had popcorn. Mm -hmm. We had cookies. We had... Um, soda pops. We had a great time, you know, just being able to share the movies with my fellow vendors and yourself. You know, it was really a great experience. And not only that, but to be able to voice our opinions about it and then for you to type it up and put it in the paper, that meant so much to the vendors. And it also increased our sales when we go out and we sell in the papers and we let the customers know what this paper, what this particular issue is about. It's about the Oscars and how we watch the movies and how we have our opinions. So it's a stage for us to voice our opinion, which was very good. You know, uh, I have one more question to ask you. Um, mm -hmm. Out of this whole experience as an intern, what did you get out of it overall? Honestly, going back to what you were just talking about, I got a lot out of just being able to spend time with the vendors. I'm new to Streetwise, so I don't know a lot of people. I spend a lot of my time, because I'm a journalism intern, so I spend a lot of time in the back office writing things, so I don't usually get to spend a whole lot of time with the vendors. But that week what I basically did was I screened movies with them, I watched them and had that fellowship with them. And I was able to meet a lot of them. Now whenever I walk into work I, say, I, I see a lot of them and I know them. I can call them by name and they can call me by name and that's a very rewarding uh, thing because I get to uh, I get to have friends. I have friends at work that I can interact with now, so that's awesome. Um, so, I, and I got to watch movies all week, so there's nothing I can complain about there. The, the, the key word to me is to interact, okay? Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, <clears throat> to be able to watch the movie and to interact with our customers is a big thing for us, mm -hmm. you know, as a vendor, because it's like, you know, it's, it's not so much as the paper, but it's promoting yourself, it's connecting with people, it's, you know, working with people and people working with us, you know? Mm -hmm. So when we get out there to sell the paper, not only do we... Uh, have a product, but we also have an opinion that we can exchange with our customers. You know, and I think uh, <clears throat> for this particular issue, you wrote it up very well, and I like the way it's organized. So, if you're if you're a person out there and you never bought a Streetwise and you like movies, I recommend that you go out and get this issue, the the 90th Oscar issue of Streetwise. It's a very good issue, and it was well wrote by you, Maddie. And thank you for coming and putting your input with uh, Streetwise. You know, I mean, you as an intern, you know, we have interns coming. Oh, but I think you did a very, very good job in putting this together, you know, and your, your um, journalist, you know, your journalist skills, uh, you can see it in the paper, you know, so you got a lot of help to the vendors. Thank you, Al. And we thank you so much for coming on the show and expressing your opinion. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Alan. Um, so we have not much time left, but Alan, you know, I just wanted to uh, take a moment. You got to interview 
interview Maddie, and usually you're on the interviewee side yes. of the chair. What was your, other than the popcorn and the treats, what was your favorite part of the whole Oscar issue? This is not the first time you've been part of it. So what's your, what do you enjoy about this issue? Well, the Oscars, well, really, I'm not a movie watcher. You know, as far as at home. I don't mm -hmm. watch movies. I, I'm the type of person, I don't watch movies alone, okay? <laughs> Put it that way. I don't watch movies alone. But when I'm, when, I, when I'm with some people, you know, and watch the movie, you know, and then you could talk about the movie, you know, and that, that's what makes the movie exciting to me. You know, so it was like a platform for me to be able to watch movies with friends. And then to be able to talk about the movie, you know, to be able to talk about the movie with each other, and then be able to express our, our opinion to the intern, which she in turn types it up and put it in the paper, which is a, it's a, it's a process, but nevertheless, it's a good process, and I think a lot of people benefit from the process. You know, including our customers. If you have a customer and you give your opinion, like selling this paper this week, you know, I have uh, customers say, oh, Get out. You wrote about get out. I'm looking to see that. Or either they'll say, I saw that, and I think it was very good. And I say, well, um, if you can, check out my opinion about it. You know, and that's the good thing about Streetwise, you know, whereas it, 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 it gives the vendors a voice. You know, so I have a voice in this, and, um, you know, I really appreciate the time that Streetwise take out to show us the movies, to screen the movies, and to give our opinion on the movies and to type up our opinions and put it in the paper, man. That's a that's an awesome process for me. I mean, I think Hollywood would agree that the more people that are sharing in this experience, it brings us all closer together. Yes, it does. All right, so uh, one of the things that we wanted to do before we close out is give some voice to some of our other vendors who can't always be here with us. We have another short video that yes. we're going to watch before Videos, we wrap yay. up. Yay! No popcorn. No popcorn. Mm -mm. My name is Russell. Linda Moody. You guys can call me OJ. Hello everybody, I'm Donald Morris. The intersection right now, it is Armitage and Sheffield. 191 North Clark Street. Maple and Church Street. We're Clark and Dickens. I first started in August of 2000. Since 2003? 14 years. Probably over three years now. Streetwise is an organization that's helping homeless, unemployed people get on their feet and get off the street and the ability to stay off the streets by paying their bills. The first time I came, I, the people were so nice. They bought all of my paper out and I've been here ever since. <laughs> What they might not know about me is that I was a U.S. veteran. I'm a 20-year Sun Times man. I joined the United States Army back in 2007. Oh, gosh, I have so many. One that stick out is my buddy named uh, John Fred. He's a good customer of mine, and we're sports buddies. I have my grandson that a lot of people know because I used to bring him to work with me a lot. His birthday is uh, December 17th, and there's one lady, she every year buys him a coat. Every winter for the last past, maybe 10 years. I'm, I'm a bad fan, he's a Green Bay Packer fan. But we get it going good. See, so you got things work out? No high figures, he's a good, good guy. All right, sir, when you ready. Like the guy that just went in, he'll be out in a minute. He's a nice guy. I actually consider everybody I pass through as acquaintance. There's no certain, there's no certain one. I got them all. Talking, laughing. I have a lot. I have met so many. I have met judges, lawyers. That's the benefit of Streetwise. You know, not just earning money, but also getting to know a person, establish a relationship of any type of sort with a person that you meet. Well, I had a um, full-time job. And um, I was doing okay. I basically came to Chicago in 2010 with an honorable discharge. I was taking care of my mom lived at house with me. She really needed 24-hour care because she had a seizure and nobody was there. I got my job and, I, and everything just seemed to go downhill. Well, I was homeless on the streets and I was trying to get things together back and forth. With different relatives' house, doing what I needed to do. Before I was selling magazines, I was basically living with my sisters, and I was verging on homelessness, and then I went into the homelessness. I eventually became homeless. 
I turned to alcohol and drugs, and it was real messed up. I was addicted on drugs and stuff. Uh, Streetwise kind of helped me out when I got in. Streetwise offered me an opportunity to get to know people, to get to talk to people. After I was out here. Thanks for watching.